Good evening and welcome to the Atabolan Stadium for this semi-final matchup between W Connection and Guaya United. This semi-final matchup is in the Toyota Classic here where you usually see Super League and Pro League teams meeting up against one another and exactly that here we'll be seeing this evening. W Connection of course of the Pro League there, the class of the Pro League currently on top but Guaya United themselves from the Super League are no slouch. They, there's no question who has more of the support here now as this is the kickoff. Guaya in their yellow shorts and black and green and yellow tops as Connection are in their all white, all white tops, socks and shorts. Jaw with this. Ball sent inside here now. No Daniel Sarsas. So this could be oh straight to Jelani Archibald. A very good opportunity early on for Guaya United. Pushing off here, trying to get it there. This opportunity now for Jones. Left footed player, left footed shot coming in. Good save. Very good save there. Ente in action to start this one between Guaya and W Connection. Don't blink, viewers. You may miss something amazing. Action on the field, action in the stands with a plethora of supporters here for Guaya United. It's something that we have come to see and get accustomed to here. Seeing that they said that they had bus loads as this is a very good opportunity here now for Hashimas here. He should look to shoot. He should look to shoot. He should look to oh, very good kick save there by Kevin Saunders. Early opportunities coming for the W Connection, but Kevin Saunders with his second impressive save within the first five minutes in this one. Yes, Stewart. Why are pushing forward? Very good ball. Al sub shot coming in. Oh, good save. Jelani Archibald punching it over bar. Action to start this one, viewers. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's a Oh, you're making a blunder of it. Opportunity still for W Connection as it's still in the area. Here's Ashimas here. He's cutting inside. He's cutting again. He's trying to make a decision. He's taking a shot now. Coming off a defender. And it's going out of touch for a corner kick. W Connection isn't just exporting players, but they are also importing them in the form of Zhao and Lozano. They've been playing stellar football for Connection all season long. Lozano being a feature of the bench more occasions than not. As that one is trying. Juven Jones. That's a clear foul there. He went for the ball but being called and booked here. Call for the foul. For games on end and then when these players are in sitting in the starting lineups, you wonder how on earth could this man not play last game as Lozano is here. He'll be taking a shot. Shot coming in. Oh, it's parried over there. Shots go low. Shots go low for connection. They're getting. Here's Frederick coming inside. Oh, this opportunity again for Shamas here. Skimming passes Moody and another beautiful opportunity in the middle there. Not quick enough to get down, but still W connection. Here's Lozano. He's getting inside. Shot coming in. Oh, it's saved again by Saunders. Shots of Guaya, Guaya all over the Atsuboland Stadium. Corner coming in here now. It's high. It's going. Going up for it. This could be opportunity. Shot coming in. Jones. Okay, quality center field, but that whistle signals the end of a very entertaining first half of football here in Kuva. Guaya United doing a lot of defending, but goalkeeper Kevon Son has possibly the story of the first half. Save after save after save, keeping his team in this one. And nil nil affair as you go into the half. Must say, Guaya 4 1. Can be assured that the second half will be, it should be equally as entertaining. No goals, but no shots of shots to start this one. Most coming the way of W Connection, but Guaya has had their fair share of opportunities as well. Going here to Jovan Jones. Met by one, met by two as he turns. He's getting past defenders at will. Shot coming in over. Oh, to the back of the net. Jovan Jones creating a magnificent goal there for his team. And a beautiful, ex beautifully executed one there as the stadium here is stunned. Jovan Jones making the turn, the impossible turn, evading five defenders and scoring, converting on what is an amazing goal for W Connection. So after all those opportunities in the 50th minute, Jovan Jones scores the first goal of the game, first for W Connection and they're on top, one goal to nil. Far field, so sometimes a defender may have to kick the goal kick or oh, football there as Richard coming in from Paris and why did he go after that one? Cross, he, he manages to get a little Zano. He's looked good in defense. When he, got, when he comes off, he hasn't. 
Now it's Jovan Jones. He has Ashim Asier on the ball. Ball. Opportunity. Shot coming in. Goal number two. Goal number two. Jovan Jones to Ashim Asier. Goal number two on a beautiful counter attack. I said that uh, that Guaya had numbers up. And when you have numbers like that up front, you're leaving your back susceptible to a counter attack. And just that happened. Goal number two. What a pass from Jovan Jones on the left foot. And effectively put away by Hashim Asier. Hashimasia getting to Jovan Jones. If Neil Benjamin can get there, he oh he does. He is quick. Let's see what Neil can do. Neil coming inside. He has a man with him. Oh, he beats the keeper, and that's goal number three. He beats the keeper, and that's goal number three. Magnificently done there by Neil Benjamin. And that may be it for W Connection. Kevin Saunders coming on. Masia, he has Jovan Jones. Where does he go? He's going to hatch him. Hashim, he's already scored one. Can hit the Jova, leaving it to the jo ball. Here's Neil go over bar inside the area. How could you go so high over the bar, Neil Benjamin? William Section trying to get those supporters alive as Alvin Jones is coming into the area. A ball here. Here's Lopez, shot coming in over bar. Jovan Jones and that. With the final whistle in this one. So the finals are set. W Connection defeating Guaya United three goals to nil will move on to face Club Sandu in the finals of the 2013 Toyota Classic.